for 50 years, I lived in a trailer. A trailer that went nowhere. Whatever the opposite is of an astronaut, that, that's, that's what I became. I didn't know I wanted to join the cast of This Is Us until um, I got a call asking to uh, be a part of the cast. I'd followed the show and I was always a fan and, and the call just came out of the blue. And the part of Uncle Nicky was described to me and a character would bring lots of complicated emotions and, 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 and problems like PTSD and alcoholism and diabetes. And, uh, he sounded like a great complicated um, tragic character who would probably transform into something else over the course of the show, as, as all the other characters do. I, I was in, in for the, from the get-go. Every day, same routine, 50 years. But then, I got an invitation to meet you two. And you know, you know what it got me thinking about? got me thinking about the moon. My favorite um, scene to play uh, was with, um, was talking to the twins. Um, that just hit me very personally about um, him uh, speaking to those uh, sleeping infants. Anything, anything good that would ever happen to me it just seemed, it just seemed impossible. But here I am. I made it. You two. You two are my moon. When I found out uh, Edie was Nikki's love interest, well, I was completely surprised. I probably, like the audience, um, thought it would be um, um, the, the woman I've been pining for for the past 40 so years. Um, and just assumed, I underestimated um, the, the writers again, just thinking predictably. Um, so when uh, I got to the scene of him um, giving sass to, uh, to Edie in the airplane, um, I, I, I just smiled. It was so rewarding as a reader to see that happen. Well, I'm glad that I brought my duct tape. Seat up. Now? Please. Sure. All you had to do was ask. I, I think the most challenging parts, uh, parts of playing um, Uncle Nicky, um, has been to walk the line between being um, an unsentimental person uh, and, uh, and, a, and a certain kind of inner bitterness he fights within himself and to also be funny. Um, you know, it's always been a, a balance of, of, of tragic and then comic and tragic and comic. The funniest times I've had on set, both on camera and between takes it has been with Justin. We just have a, you know, a really great rapport and make each other laugh. We don't fall into, uh, you know, the, the uh, a, a typical sentimentality, you know, our, our sort of edge toward each other, I think plays against that. So, so it's been really rewarding to, do, uh, to have so many scenes with Justin. Uh, doing the wobble with the cast. Yeah, I think that's uh, something that Sterling and John do, and they they came up with it and to, to just sort of put it together between takes. I guess to certainly put it online. I think a lot of people thought it was like a dance sequence at the wedding, um, but it was just all of us, you know, um, doing the wobble um, during our lunch break. You don't just get better. And if you think I'm exaggerating, let me remind you that your father drank in secret trying to forget. Let me remind you, when you busted into my trailer, there was a gun sitting in front of me. That was 50 years after Boots left Vietnam. I've heard from Vietnam vets 
and I've heard from um, um, soldiers and their families who uh, have fought in our more recent conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan, and uh, I, that they are, you know, thankful to see their their trauma, uh, post-war trauma portrayed. You know, is is uh, very meaningful to me. And I feel very proud of that. I was very satisfied with how they wrapped up Nikki's story. His part was sort of put to rest, and and we knew he'd be okay. And from then on, I was just like a uh, Nikki and Edie uh, were suddenly a team, and we're just like a kind of fun-loving, uh, smart-ass couple, um, you know, involved in all the family proceedings that would be uh, coming ahead. Filming the final episodes was was very emotional. All the principals um, gave like a, you know, gave a very moving um, speech of thanks, and uh, and it was everybody was very moved. Um, a lot of tears were going around. That kind of like it's all coming to an end sort of feeling, and you you feel a certain gratitude, you know, that um, for having had this experience, and it makes you just want to hug a lot of people. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.